Right, so, uh, tried to do a live, where am I looking? Uh, there, okay. Uh, tried to do a live stream and uh, that went a bit pear-shaped pretty quickly, so I'm um, just gonna do a quick video today because I just wanted to have a shout out uh, to a few people, update on what's happening uh, with the shed build. Um, I tried to do a live view, uh, a live stream yesterday and uh, that did not work out too well either. Uh, the stream seemed to go along okay. Got a few people on initially uh, and then uh, I had all sorts of connection issues and things. So one thing I'm clearly gonna have to sort out uh, is gonna be the uh, interwebs connection uh, for the shed because this is uh, hopefully for me gonna be my base of operations for uh, the YouTube channel and uh, I need some sort of connectivity. So if you've got any ideas uh, for uh, how I can improve the Wi-Fi signal and you've uh, done some things to be able to extend it, I'm approximately, I don't know, 15 meters from the house, probably about 20 meters from the Wi-Fi uh, router. So uh, I might try those sort of plug-in network things. If not, I'll have to put a cabled network in, perhaps um, have to see. Uh, anyway, uh, what's everybody thinking about the uh, t-shirt? Uh, got myself a t-shirt, a little treat for myself there for the channel. Uh, learning stuff since 1974, yeah. Um, so footage I lost yesterday is about 30 minutes worth, so there's a few shout outs I want to um, do first of all. First off, uh, the CJR shop. Um, CJR shop, yeah. Check out his uh, Chris's channel. Uh, there is a link as a recommended channel uh, on my channel's home screen, screen, screen. Um, so if you like uh, the stuff that I do, and certainly if you're into uh, your Hondas, uh, Chris has done a lot of work on his Hondas at the moment, you're certainly gonna um, get some good stuff uh, out of his channel. He does tool reviews as well and that kind of thing. Um, so check him out. And also uh, the Savage Garage, um, yeah, he, he's uh, he's also a recommended um, uh, channel as well. So uh, have a look at uh, James's channel. Um, he does some great stuff. Uh, some he does a lot of tool reviews as well, as well as the CJR shop. So check those out. Also, um, shout out to Jack who messaged me yesterday saying what is going on uh, with the shed build. I watched the first one. I watched the second one. Uh, I subbed. I liked the video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and then nothing. Um, so, what has happened with the shed build? Right, so, um, I did the brickwork, I did one perimeter brickwork, and then uh, damp course, and then uh, concrete floor pour uh, for the shed, and I've got footage of that, uh, and then did the two course, I'm not sure if you can see there, you can just see down at the bottom there, the two courses of brickwork there. Uh, I've got some footage in that, and I've got to um, put those videos together. Uh, it's just time, because I did those, and that took a lot of time. Uh, I had a week off work uh, last week, and it was a choice of either, uh, I had some nice weather last week, and it was a t uh, you know, a choice between getting some of the shed build done, but filming it all, or just cracking on and getting the shed build done, and I'm afraid uh, that's what I did. However, what I will be doing is I will be doing separate stage videos on the shed build um, to talk about how I did it, um, the tools I used, uh, and and all that kind of stuff. So um, the series will will continue. So thank you, Jack, for uh, you know prompting me to get that done. I, I will get on the case um, on that for you. Uh, and for everybody else who's interested um, in that. And I'm also tracking the cost as well. Uh, I think as you can see, uh, it's not a small shed. Um, it's um, something in the region of about nine, nine and a half by 16, something like that. And the permitted 2.5 meters high because I'm within two meters of a boundary wall, uh, boundary fence line as per the UK uh, planning regs. Um, but it, I think, as you can see, it has given me a big space, uh, and I've got some good plans for this, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, also, final shout out to Colin in Sydney. Um, hope you're right, fella. I enjoy uh, chatting with you. 
and um, let me know how you're getting on with sourcing the brake cables for your MR2 and if you need any help uh, with that and shipping them from the UK perhaps uh, give me a shout and we'll see what we can sort out for you. Um, okay so what uh, what else have I got to talk about? Um, shed wise um, I know the CJR shop might be able to point me in the right direction here but anyone who's ever had to um, put uh, I'm going to put some strip lights in the top here. And I've got some really nice fittings made by a company called Fitzgerald Lighting who are in um, the UK near Cornwall. Um, but I'd need to get some their specific um, tubes that go in these. Uh, they're not like standard fluorescent tubes, they're LED high frequency 49 watt tubes. Uh, and I'm having a bit of trouble trying to uh, find these actual things. I emailed uh, the company today and say look I love I've, I've bought two of the uh, Uber fittings uh, can you tell me um, where uh, I can get the tubes you know can you give me a product code or perhaps you produce something I just got one line in the back going go your local stockist oh okay I'll do 